Hi, today's video is about emptying your, or draining your heat, water heater tank yearly. That way you could keep your tank um, last longer. So uh, the first thing you wanna do, so I'm a woman and I've been looking for a way or a video that would show me how to do it safely. So the first thing uh, we do, cause my tank is uh, run by electricity. So this is the, they call this the breaker. This is the one that really heats the tank. So I need to shut this off. So I'll take this one out like that. And then I need to remove this cause this is the one that just carries the power. And then, um, so as we go here, this is where the cold water runs and go inside the tank. This is the one that fills the water tank. So this is open. I need to close it slowly. To close it slowly is going that way. And then, okay, so that's what I do first. That's the safe thing to do. And the second is I already prepared my garden hose. So my tank is located in my garage, as you can see. And uh, I have this garden hose. I need to connect it to this area. This is where it's supposed to drain. So connect this one. Okay, oh, connect that one over there. Sorry. And then you could open this so opening this is towards that way towards your left towards your left so you can hear that sound there okay so i think that's open fully open and uh, the next thing you do to place it the tank for a couple of months there will be sediments that settle down here so um i know we already closed that this cold water but what we need to do is to open this again for a few seconds they said around 10 seconds it might be more because i have to show you why we have to do this they said uh, if i open this it will flush the whole sediment down in the water tank that's been settled there for a while. So I'm gonna sh open this and you can hear a sound, right? So open this hole like that and I'll show you what happened after that. So here we go. So water hose is actually outside because I don't have, see? There's a big gush of water and I have to shut that off. That, that's 10 seconds or more will give you time to remove all the sediments and you have to close it this again. Now, to keep the water from flowing out, you can see there's a, this one here right next to this um, section here. You see this? So for this one, what you can do is to, you have to keep the tank flowing out so you could totally empty, you could totally empty this 40 gallon uh, water tank. So here I'll show you. You just flip it up like that. And I'll show you the effect from doing that. Here you go. It's flowing out. Okay. Um, so that's the end of the video. Some uh, would recommend putting a sock at the end of the holes so you could see the sediments. Um, that's good to do to do that too, but it's too much hassle. So I just do what like the regular emptying. Okay. If you have any question. I'm not sure if I could answer, but this is how I do it. So, thanks for watching. Bye.